ಸಂಬುದ್ಧಸ್ಮೋ ತಗವತೋ ಅರ್ಹತ ಸಂಬುದ್ಧ ನಮೋ ತಗವತ ಅರ್ಹತ ಸಂಬುದ್ಧ ಸೊ ಡಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಓನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ neck head straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture and let your whole body weight go down and uh, let everything to settle down itself and take a moment yourself and think we all gathered here in this evening to practice this ancient meditation technique all the buddhas all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom so we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge in this moment with this sitting may my body become more comfortable may my breath be more smooth may no difficulties come to me may all the success come to me also think for a moment maybe this is the last moment we are spending in this very lifetime and detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts just try to remain with the present moment practicing your meditation and always remember to give your best this practice you do for yourself don't do half so with that we going to relax our body little bit step by step and at the same time mentally try to release your body and release your breath and relax your mind so relax your head relax your forehead your face muscles relax your teeth relax your tongue relax your mouth relax your throat relax your neck and shoulders relax your arms elbow forearms palms fingers fingertips relax your whole back muscles and relax your spine relax your chest and relax your abdominal muscles relax your lungs relax your heart relax your liver relax your kidneys relax your gall bladder relax your pancreas relax your small intestine and relax your large intestine relax your whole abdominal organs relax your butt relax your thigh relax your knee and relax your calf muscles relax your foot and relax your toes
relax your whole body muscles, tendons, ligaments, bone, bone marrow, and whole skeleton. Release the tension in your mind and keep relax your face muscles. So today we practice contemplating the pain or the sensation. Vedana Anupasana. Observing and recognizing the pain or the sensation. So in the beginning, observe head to toes your whole body and say Suapatveva or be well and happy. May I be well and happy. So observe or scan head to toes three times. Now bring your attention to your body. See yourself. Is there any place that you can feel more pain or sensation? Tightness, heat, heaviness. Just find the one place. Wherever in your body. And bring your pull your attention to that place. Without judging, without thinking about it, without having any thoughts, just observe very clearly. Observe that place. Even you feel the pain in the beginning, you in the surface level, you feel more bigger place. But try to sharp your mind and go deeper and recognize the epicenter of the, the pain. Then again, scan head to toes one time, observe your whole body. And find another place wherever you feel pain or heat or tightness, heaviness, any discomfort. And slowly focus your mind. And observe. When you observe sometimes, the pain is increased. Or maybe pain disappear, or maybe pain going to remain for a while the same, and then it's going to disappear. Somehow, the pain is always moving and changing. 
try to recognize that nature within the pain wherever. Again, scan head to toes. And find another place. And give your fully attention. It's like a yogu. See through a microscope. Observe deeply. Find the right place wherever you feel any sensation, pain, tightness, heaviness. Also, each and every pain has uh, three kind of characters. So, whatever the, wherever the pain, it impermanent. It always change. It's not going to be solid. Another one is unsatisfactory nature. That means it's always moving in a journey. Another one is selflessness. Pain arises not because of you. It arises according to necessary conditions. So observe that three nature within the pain wherever you feel. And bring your attention to your body and observe whole body. Then focus your mind to one place and recognize the pain and observe it. And now bring your attention to in front of your nose and your upper lip area. And observe the inhalation, exhalation. If your mind go here and there, bring it back again and again. Stay with the inhalation, exhalation. Recognize the sensation.
bring your attention to your body and feel the calmness, tranquility state within yourself in this very moment. Have intention to share your heart with all other people around this world. So in this moment, there are a lot of people struggling with their own life. Some people are struggling with the death and some people are struggling with disease. And there are a lot of doctors and healthcare workers and other people struggling and fighting to help for someone else. But most of have the fear in their heart. And also some have the depression, anxiety, hopelessness and helplessness. So have a thought yourself to share your heart in this very moment with this all the people around the world, whoever needed it. May they come out of that fear, may they come out of that struggle, may they come out of that disease, may they come out of that illness, may they come out of the depression and depression, anxiety, hopelessness, helplessness. May they have the courage and the wisdom and the strength to go through this situation. May they also have the same peace, tranquility, state, balance, like you. With that intention, have a loving kindness and compassion in your heart and let it arise as a light from the bottom of your heart and let it shine around you with your husband, wife, children and parents, brothers and sisters, friends and family members around you and your neighbors your village people, your city, your state, your country. Not only that, as far as you can through galaxies, other planets, stars. Let your heart to carry this loving kindness and compassion, whoever needed it. And let it heal them. So mentally repeat after me, may all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe and may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are pale or strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away, already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. So expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. So visualize it, go as a light forward.
to your backside. To your left side. And to your right side. Downward and upward. To all six directions at once. Like the moon. The sun spread the light without any condition, without any limitation, without any judgment, without any resistance. Just spread the loving kindness and compassion. Let your heart to shine with it. As far as it can. Let it go. Say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So, dear Dhamma friends, long time ago in India, there was a very rich man, Brahman, and he had a bull called Nandi Visala. So he used to take care of this bull for many, many years. And uh, somehow the bull start to think one day, oh, my master take care of me and I want to pay my gratitude. So, and one day a bull came to master and told, uh, I like to pay my gratitude and I like to bring some money for you. So the, the master asked how you can do that. So the bull told him, you can organize a bull race. And I am strong. I'm the most strongest bull in this village. And I can run fast. So you can put a higher bid uh, and uh, I will win. So that way you can make some money. And uh, the master was so happy to do that. And then what he did, he organized uh, the bull race in the village. And the race start. And he was so proud and he know he going to win. And he was kind of like... Uh, egocentric person and he forget everything and with the joy and with the pleasure and what happened he start to shout the bull saying bad words and start to hit the bull to run more fast and then the bull got mad and what the bull did and bull start to slow down let other uh, bulls to win the race and the master lost the money. And then he was so disappointed. And then he was so angry with the bull. You know? And then one day again this bull came and asked, what you did that day? Why you shout at me? I was so nice to you. And I was uh, trying to 
make you some money so why you hit me why you shout at me like that it is not nice so anyhow that uh, he apologize that bull apologize because he slow down intensely to win someone uh, some uh, that the, some other bull and he apologize and told anyhow i can fix this so arrange another race this time i going to win but remember and don't say any bad words don't try to hit me and you have to be nice so then he is organize another bull race and uh, put a bit, uh, bit on this uh, his bull and uh, with the he raised the uh, uh, bit double and somehow that day he start to talk very nicely like as a friend uh, then that day the bull win the race and the, the master got a lot of money so with this uh, story there is a very good moral Ad the advice come to us what is the advice so remember when you use your words especially for others it has a power and sometimes it can hurt other people and it can heal other people intensely or knowing you sometimes without knowingly maybe you can raise your voice because of that sometimes your loved ones your other people your friends and your family members can get hurt so you have to be very careful and uh, especially nowadays you are at home with everyone and when you are stay with uh, everyone what will happen sometimes you start to see little little mistakes when you see little mistakes you get disappointed you get mad you get angry and sometimes you start to say little little words and other people can hurt especially you you allow ones if you blame to somebody else whoever next to you and if you start to shout at your loved ones how are you going to see their face next day say look at the world what is happening nowadays and there are some people there are especially doctors the healthcare workers and sometimes they cannot come home because of this virus situation they stay somewhere some people used to sleep at uh, uh, another place and sometimes they sleep uh, in a car or vehicle because they cannot come home because they are loved ones may be going to get the virus they have fear so but you have opportunity you are not like that you are at home so when you have this opportunity learn to brush up yourself don't try to make others don't try to change others and brush up yourself if you get disturbed out of someone else nothing wrong with that people it is you have to recognize there is something inside you and uh, have a con compassion regarding other people especially your your family members and you go to sleep with them and you have to wake up with them so if you blame to them if you not talk nicely to them when you go to sleep with them how you can sleep with them and how you can wake up with them your life itself going to become a hell but if you use nice word talk nicely you have power to make your house as a heaven and at the same you can try at the same time you have power to make it hell you can become a demon or you can become an angel so how you can do that start to use nice words and that is the key point and remember without any condition limitation be nice to everyone look at the world nowadays and who knows you know you going to see your loved ones next day you know how you know 
that you going to you know see each other next day and see sometimes we we because of this social disconnection you know and sometimes you know people cannot uh, stay closer so whenever possible yourself as a mother father as a husband wife children give a hug you know say i love you you know and say nice words if there is something happen you have power to fix that you know don't try to keep repeating your past you know let them to have a chance themselves to recover from whatever they did in the past you you are the one who have that responsibility learn to forgive don't wait for anybody else there is no time for that you know so that way you have power you develop a power it become a profitable skill and even in this very lifetime in this samsarik journey you going to take it with you wherever you go you know even not only the people look the animals even the nature the what the way you talk it effect for them so during this time period be very careful communion mean without words you you have power to understand each other that is what called communion how the communion happened communion happened out of the communication so the communication happened according to the clarity of the words and the clarity of the intention and the the communication that clarity being bring the words and that word how the intention so that intention become not right or if the intention become related with the greed hatred or the anger the your communication going to to collapse it not going to work properly and then the communion going to collapse it not going to work properly so you have power yourself to talk nicely each other and share your heart with your loved ones especially with everyone whenever you have opportunity the words have so much power so remember that and use it yourself use it and brush up yourself to develop that skill so during that time it is kind of like a homework for you for your spiritual journey and uh, with that i bless upon everyone so may you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patient courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life and also may all your guardian angels and deities will receive this merits and increase their longevity and protect you from any kind of planetary influences or any ill effects and at the same time by the power of this all meritorious activities may you and your loved ones your family members parents brothers and sisters you know stay safe so wherever they are remember to call them and ask them and uh, say hi you know hi to them and remember don't wait till anyone else you know waiting to call you don't wait till other from other side to say hi or whenever you have opportunity you know with the good smile share your life with good words share your life with good actions you know share your life with loved ones why because who knows you know maybe this is going to be our you know last opportunity to do that there are a lot of people you know look and all most of the students you know they used to come here and sit now i start to see my own face you know no one around me but as monks we are professional for that you know but what i am telling you know i wish upon everyone to have the same you know like wisdom like me and then you going to be safe not only here in any way in the samsarik journey so i bless upon everyone to have a safe and healthy life yourself sabbit yo vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavatantarayo suki diga yuko bhavet davata cha me sampadam punya sampada sabbe deva sabbe bhuta sabbe satta numodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya bless you thank you okay. thank you master